cash crops because coconut industry is fast growing with over 300,000 metric tons of the fruit produced annually. So far, the production level for coconut is less than a percent of the global production rate. Now, this has necessitated the National Export Development Strategy to intervene. Now, the NET initiative, which falls part of government's post-COVID-19 economic recovery program, is to expand existing and establish new certified coconut seedlings, nurseries of high yield and disease resistant varieties, and also increase availability of other plant inputs. A strategy document available to Joy Business further explains that the, co the coconut subsector is to benefit from an increased investment into expansion and the reactivation of coconut oil mills and refineries, as well as the establishment of new ones at medium to large scale level. Now, what this means is that the projected export revenues for coconut products will spike from $5 million by the end of 2020 to $298 million, closing 2029. Let's now bring you some illustrations on your screen there. Of course, as I've been stated, the projected revenues from coconut is going to be spiking over 100%. You can see on the screens there from 2020 this year, we're expecting a 5 million jump to 2029 being 298. But while we are at it, what are the existing threats to Ghana's coconut industry? Of course, as you can see on your screens once again, the existing threats are that farmers are cutting their trees to replace them with rubber. Considering the large demand for rubber and its you know, income potential, most of these farmers say coconut isn't really bringing them money, so they'd rather revert to that. Also, the lack of adequate long-term credits for plantation development, especially when most bankers are saying the agri sector is much risky an investment venture. And the third one is the lack of adequate processing skills and knowledge on quality requirements. You take a closer look at the various co uh, coconut farmers across the country, and one thing they lack is that of adequate processing skills. The fourth, being the last existing threat, is a low level of value addition. We keep buying coconuts at the various centers without necessarily thinking about its processing refinery potential.